remove a forest, when you clear cut a forest, when you drain a wetland, when you um, burn off a savanna or grassland area, you automatically expose the ground to incoming solar radiation and the area immediately heats up and dries out. It becomes windier. The soil erodes, which enhances the heating, the drying, and the, and the increased um, wind velocities. So before there is any carbon emissions in the atmosphere, land use conversions have a direct and immediate and very negative impact on local and regional and ultimately global climate stability. By removing this forest, you're not going to have the evapotranspiration. You're not going to have, you know, tracks like the Brigger Forest act as little sponges that hold moisture in place and then feed it back into the atmosphere over a longer period of time. So by removing these vegetative ecosystems, you're going to see this increased warming and drying. And because of the increased warming and drying, it's going to be getting windier. And when hurricanes move through, the damage that they inflict is going to be increased by the fact that you do not have these stands of forest to temper the winds and the oncoming seas. One of the reasons that Hurricane Andrew did as much damage as it did in August of 1992 is it made landfall in a heavily developed zone. As a matter of fact, in a very um, affluent area south of Miami. Um, most, virtually all of the native vegetation and had been removed and had been replaced with condominiums and hotels and office buildings and everything else. And these places took it hard. They were virtually wiped out. If the mangrove forests had been left there, if the coastal swamplands had been left there, if the pine forests had been left there, Andrew's impacts would have been greatly lessened. Again, it is really, really important if we want economic stimulus, we need to be responding and preparing for the oncoming climate onslaught and a significant way to do that is by employing millions of people around the world in florida in the u.s all around the world many millions of people restoring and rehabilitating and rewilding native ecosystems as well as connecting them with each other providing biological corridors they will help to stabilize the climate they will make for not only healthier non-human populations but healthier human populations as well